journals at cherrywilderness.com. Thanks for joining me. I am back on part two of my kombucha and scoby video. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar, a scoby is a mushroom and when placed in a tea mixture, it ferments the tea. It's similar to the process of water kefir and milk kefir. Um, it needs to ferment a little longer, um, but it creates a wonderful beverage that is really good for your stomach. It replaces and uh, it replaces the good bacteria in your stomach, which a lot of us are missing because of the processed foods that we're eating. Basically, the processed foods that we're eating is killing um, the good bacteria in our stomachs. So, I I enjoy drinking um, kombucha. Um, I've purchased it, but I'm real excited to be able to make my own. Um, it's really good for a pick-me-up and is really good for you overall, but it's also very good for your stomach. So I'm going to show you. Um, I fermented my first batch, and I actually have a baby SCOBY um, along with the SCOBY that came in the mail to me. And again, Jennifer Osuch, thank you so much. I had a friend in Texas send me a uh, SCOBY, and um, she had it packaged in some of the tea that she had brewed and sent it to me and uh, I started my own batch uh, last Saturday. Um, you need to brew it for about seven days. Um, I actually brewed mine for seven and um, it's it's wonderful. It has a flavor similar to that of vinegar. Um, vinegar by itself is also very good for you and very good for your stomach and uh, a million and a half other things. But um, I'm going to show you the SCOBY itself because last week in the video I don't think I showed you the actual SCOBY itself. So um, in order to pick up your SCOBY it's best to wash your hands in vinegar to make sure there's no bacteria on your hands. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to also bottle it because um, it needs to do a second ferment and I'm going to show you the process and then I'm going to show you the process of starting a new batch with my um, SCOBY and the baby and um, get that going so I have another batch ready for next week. So um, bear with me here while I wash up and I'm going to come back on and show you this SCOBY and what they look like. Um, my men don't get this. Um, or my excitement. This is really cool. I love being in my kitchen. I love doing new things. I love being able to take care of my family. I love being able to be healthy and um, and we bake and cook and do everything from scratch so this is just so up my alley so I will be right back and I'll show you some more okay stay tuned okay guys I know that looks really unusual but um, this little one here is the baby um, and this is the full-blown SCOBY that I received in the mail last Saturday so within seven days I created this and um, I've heard it referred to as putting the SCOBY in a hotel they mass produce. Um, I'm not sure what will happen this week, but I'll report back. This is going to be an ongoing little series I'm going to do, but this is really cool. These can be used for so many different things as well. Um, they can be eaten um, in addition to using them to ferment your tea. So um, I am going to take my tea that is in the container there and I am going to bottle it in quart jars and I'm going to add... Um, cherry um, concentrate and I'm going to add some chia seeds to mine for my second ferment and um, then I'm going to what I have here is a batch of tea brewing and it is still really hot so I need to let it cool down and once I have this jar emptied here I will wash that out with vinegar and then I'm going to put the tea in there and um, once that's at room temperature then I will add my SCOBY back in fill it up to the top of the jar there and I will then put a coffee filter with a rubber band on the top put it in a warm dark place and last week what I did is I covered it with a bag and I put it in my office because I knew it would be safe there and it did fine obviously so that's a good spot for it so that's what I'm going to continue to do um, in addition to brewing this tea here what I have in there is um, a cup of sugar organic um, sugar so 
that it will sweeten it. That's what helps the SCOBY um, to do its thing. It needs the, the sugar. So that's basically what's feeding it. So this is a really awesome thing. I'm very excited. I do have water kefir and milk kefir going. I also have a batch of sourdough going. Um, we've got all kinds of stuff going here. I'm making cleaning products here using orange rinds and white vinegar. And I just made laundry detergent this morning also. Um, so we make, like I said, everything from scratch. And um, Vicki Lynn Haycraft also received a SCOBY from Jennifer. And she also has been having a field day with this. I will put links to both of their um, websites and their materials um, on my blog post. Um, the blog post will be mentioned in the no, uh, show notes here um, on our website. So you can you can find us at treyerwilderness.com. You can find all of our recipes and everything that we've got going on there as well. But um, stay tuned. I'm going to bottle this, show you what it looks like, and continue with the process. But this is really awesome for those of you that are you know, looking to make your own kombucha. This is so easy and so good for you. So um, hopefully you'll learn from this, and I will continue to post about it and give instructions and guidance and let you know how my experiments uh, turn out also because I love experimenting with this stuff. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to bottle this, and then we'll come back on. Guys. There is the kombucha, well, the starter. In there is a cup of sugar, the tea that I brewed, and a. in this case it's two cups of my last batch of kombucha in there. So because I have this new baby, um, it required a little bit more of the original starter. Behind that there are four quart jars three quarters of the way full. In there I put cherry c concentrate. Um, it's There's no sugar or no sweeteners in it. It's the natural juices and chia seeds. Chia seeds are beyond amazing for you. They're good in so many different ways. You can eat the greens once they've grown. You can eat the seeds by themselves. I am actually going to do a blog post and possibly another video on that, but the post will be informative. Um, there are a million and one uses for chia seeds. Um, they're really, really good for you, very high in many things, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'm going to spin this camera around and put the SCOBY in here and show you that process, and then we're going to let this ferment again. I'm back. Hopefully you can see this good enough. Um, I think I'm going to put the full size, actually I'm going to put the baby in there first. It's a little delicate compared to the main SCOBY, but um, there you can see it. It's a little more translucent than the... Uh, mama, but I'm going to stick that in there just like that. We'll then float in there and ferment that tea. And then here is the large one. Now, this one, let me just grab this. Okay, all right. I know a lot of you men out there watching this, I know it does not look appetizing, even to you women, but it does amazing things for you. And, um, I have actually have a jerky recipe to use for the SCOBY, which I will do in another video. Oh, that might just go over the top here a little bit. If so, we'll just clean that up then. Yeah, that's pretty full. Okay, there we go. The SCOBYs are in the jar, and that is going to ferment for another week, and so are the ones um, in the quart jars. I am like dying to drink the ones in the quart jars, but they're going to need to ferment for another couple days, five days. I'm going to leave the kombucha, um, do its thing for another week, seven days, and then I'll jump back on and do another video uh, for part three. So stay tuned. Um, if you have questions, uh, concerns, let me know, and also you can find more information out on treyerwilderness.com. So thanks so much for joining me today in the kitchen. I must run. got painting and yard work to do. So we will catch you on the next video. You guys take care and God bless.